Marvel fans, I want to talk about the Morbius trailers. Yes, I'm talking about the trailer for the trailer tomorrow, which had a lot of fun teases and Easter eggs that I definitely want to break down. But I also want to talk about a couple of things that are in the actual Morbius trailer because it leaked, because of course it did. What is up, everybody? It's Josh coming at you from Nerd Avengers Tower as per usual. And man, oh man, is there a lot of fun nerdy news out there on the interwebs. Like a lot that just happened over the past couple of days, and I think more will happen soon. So here's the deal, guys. We're going to be covering this in a couple of videos here. A lot of different things that we want to put into videos on this channel. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel. But also, we're going to be covering some of this stuff just in live stream format over on the live streaming channel. So like this morning when the Book of Boba Fett trailer came out, we did a reaction and breakdown of that trailer over on the live streaming channel. I'm not going to also do a breakdown over here. Bottom line, make sure you're subscribed here and subscribe to the live streaming channel so you don't miss out on any of the content. Okay, so Morbius. It would appear that Sony has a rather loose strategy when it comes to building hype and leaking things out, as they did release a teaser trailer today, which talks about how the official trailer for Morbius is dropping tomorrow, but even within the little teaser featurette, there are several very cool Easter eggs that hint at some really fun stuff that have me thinking and have a lot of fans thinking as it is trending throughout the day. So let's talk about a couple of the teases from the trailer these were caught by murphy's multiverse.com it's pretty wild man if you look at this newspaper right here it literally has talk of rhino on the loose okay and black cat friend or foe right there on the page absolute craziness guys right there in the crazy dr michael morbius apprehended for vampire murder looks really crazy it's the daily bugle and again teasing rhino and teasing black cat let's talk rhino first as this is pretty crazy the last time we saw rhino in anything sony was the andrew garfield amazing spider-man series where you see paul giamani as the rhino and honestly like i don't know what to think about this exactly i mean from what we know paul giamani's rhino is actually not gonna be in spider-man no way home there was this weird thing going on where he was rumored to be in the movie and then other people are now reporting that not only is he not in the movie but rhino is actually mentioned and the butt of several jokes in spider-man no way home but is he the butt of jokes because he's doing this breakout that's then teased in in the Morbius paper here? Does this indicate that Andrew Garfield is the Spider-Man of the Venomverse where Morbius is also taking place and that Paul Giamatti might come back or someone to replace him will come back and be the Rhino? Is Sony doing a new Rhino? Something more akin to the comic book version of the character? And then when it comes to Black Cat, this is fascinating, of course, because Black Cat is a very interesting character from Marvel Comics. She was also really popularized in the 90s Spider-Man cartoon, which, of course, A.V. Arad had a lot to do with, and he's now over there at Sony running a lot of things. We also know that a silver and black film was rumored to be in development by Sony Pictures for their whole Venomverse, Sonyverse, Spider-Man universe. Are they actually moving ahead with that? And is this a little tease of something that is to come from Sony? I mean, it feels pretty likely with the other rumors already out there, but then it sort of begs the question about the Rhino. Like, what the heck's going on here? Is this just a fun Easter egg? Or is this a little way to tease out some coming things for the Morbius, Venom, Sony universe? And then check this out, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Oscorp Tower from the trailer for the trailer. And it is apparently the logo of Oscorp from The Amazing Spider-Man, the Andrew Garfield stuff. So what is going on there? Is there a lot of that stuff that is involved in The Amazing Spider-Man stuff? Is it just Sony giving cool, fun Easter eggs? Like, what exactly is going on? with this trailer. So mind you, all of that stuff was out there in the teaser trailer for the official trailer, which will drop tomorrow. So they're not shy about putting all of this fun connective tissue and Easter eggs. Again, we're not exactly sure. Like, does it mean something? I mean, obviously it means something, right? But is it just for fun? Or does it have an indication of what their actual plan is? Is there an actual plan? Now let's talk about the trailer itself. Now this trailer leaked 
I'm not going to be showing you images from the leaked trailer. We will discuss the full actual Morbius trailer tomorrow on our live streaming channel. That's where that content will live. So if you want to come by and get a full breakdown when the actual trailer is out, go check that out either live or when it comes out as a video on the replay. But let's talk about two main things that are in that trailer and why they sort of add to the excitement and yet also confusion about the Morbius film. Okay. So, first of all, Venom is mentioned not once, but twice in the official trailer. There's a scene where Tyrese and some of the other agents that apparently do work for the FBI are talking about how they haven't had anything this crazy since San Francisco. This, I think, is mentioning of the symbiotes from the first Venom movie. And then at the end of the movie, there's Morbius hitting this dude that has a knife. The dude with the knife says, who, what are you? And he answers, I am Venom. Venom, and then he says, now I'm just kidding, Dr. Michael Morbius at your service, which is again, a tease to Venom. And on top of that, in this trailer, which remember is the second official trailer for Morbius, but the first trailer for Morbius came out in a pre-Pandy world. This movie may or may not have gone through a lot of changes, so this you could think of this as almost the first trailer for the film. Regardless, in this trailer, you see Michael Keaton Vulture in this film again. And this is a huge deal for a couple of different reasons. Like we saw him in the first trailer, right? That was pretty wild. But apparently in some international versions of that trailer and in some versions of that trailer that played in front of movies way back then, they actually removed Michael Keaton's Vulture from that project. And to be honest with you, I haven't heard a lot about him actually being in that film. And with the things he may be doing over at DC, it was kind of a question like, will he be in that movie? Are they making changes behind the scenes so that the MCU is no longer attached to that movie. You know, there's just a lot of confusing aspects to this movie. And when you throw Michael Keaton Vulture in the next trailer, and this movie is actually going to come out very soon, we can assume he's in it. But what the heck does all of this mean? Michael Keaton is in the movie, so that might imply that it's in the MCU. He's talking about Venom, and the police officers are talking about San Francisco, which would sort of hint at it happening in the Venom verse, which we know did come into the MCU because of its post credit scene, but that implies that it was not in the MCU before. You've got the Sam Raimi Daily Bugle article. The names Black Cat and Rhino, which makes me think Andrew Garfield villains in a Tobey Maguire Spider-Man world? Spider-Man from the first trailer being called a traitor, which we think has to do with far from a rather no way home and the Mysterio element. And then throw into that mix that Tyrese said that these movies are all in the MCU and that he has a big contract and it's all happening in the MCU. Well, I think it really comes down to two options here, ladies and gentlemen. Number one is that they have figured all of this out. The timeline will be set up in the next couple of movies. So, you know, no Way Home and then Morbius and maybe even Multiverse of Madness will help make sense of all this and we'll be like, oh, okay, so they weren't in the MCU, but now they're in the MCU and then they're going to go back to Sony or something like that. Or option number two, Sony has no idea what the f*** they are doing. No, I'm really hoping for option number one myself. And, you know, we just heard that Feige is actually helping produce two more Sony movies, which I think are scheduled for 2023 and 2024. So he's pretty involved. At least it appears that he's pretty involved with whatever Sony is doing. And with the multiverse coming into No Way Home, we believe that there's some kind of a plan being figured out and sorted out that will allow all of this to make sense. And you have some of these characters be in the MCU for a little bit, which could explain why Michael Keaton's vulture breaks out of prison with Morbius. That could essentially happen at some point after being shifted into the MCU, or it's possible they're just going to have a chaotic approach and explain it all the way with the multiverse and then eventually sort of separate it into a more clean way in the future. But there are just 
the craziest reports about this movie, about Spider-Man. Like, people are saying that Tom Holland is going to get the Venom symbiote next. And that's going to be sort of hinted at in the No Way Home post credit scene. So, I don't know, guys. Tons of surprises and shocks ahead. But that's the basic breakdown of a couple of really fun Easter eggs that people spotted in the Morbius trailer. The trailer for the trailer, that is. And some of the juicy stuff that's in the the second trailer again i think the second trailer or the official trailer looks dope i'm not going to get into like every little detail that's in there we'll talk about that on the live stream tomorrow regardless super fun stuff kind of confusing stuff so i'd love to know if you have a theory or what you think is going on with morbius the mcu sony's venom movies all of it let me know your thoughts in the comments section below and again like this video if you liked it and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the updates for a lot of different videos that we have coming out and make sure you're checking out the live streaming channel it's just so much stuff is happening some of it's gonna have to just live over there as a live stream so if you don't want to miss any of uh you know my thoughts or my breakdowns on these things go check that out as I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video.